Hello and welcome to King Kaboobler Plays Mega Man 11. Today we will be playing against the villainous Block Man. That's right, Dr. Wily is back and he's got, that's right, eight more Robot Masters. Dr. Wily loves the number eight. He will always send eight more Robot Masters to defeat us. And now we're fighting in the robotic jungles of Aku 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 Land. It's a little planet off in the side of the Nebulon Galaxy that Dr. Wily likes to play in. And Mega Man has gone there against his will because Dr. Wily has kidnapped him. Is any of this true? No, of course not. But it's just fun to make up off the top of my head. That's right, I like playing Mega Man 11 and I like making up stories as I play it. My name is King Kaboobler and I am the headmaster of this school of Gamerversity. And, well, maybe not the president or anything like that, but I was offered a great position here. And it's a lot of fun. I don't really need the job per se. I am, after all, the king of my own universe. But I have taken an extended vacation of my universe and decided to come here to this little planet called Earth just to have some fun for a few hundred years or so. And then I will go back and rule over my kingdom. Really, that just amounts to about a weekend over there. So it's all good. Let's have some fun playing Mega Man 11. So, first thing you'll notice against this game versus the previous games that I played, uh, I don't know if you've ever checked out Kaboobler Gaming, it was a fantastic channel that was very, very active a short while ago, but then I got a job over here, and I stopped making videos over there because it's like I only have so much time, and gotta go where the time is, and this is where the time is, it's over here at Gameversity, where I am now the official headmaster sounds like a fun thing. I decided to go for it. And now we're going to fight against robot owl type totem poles. First thing you got to do here is you got to hit the head. You can't hit anything else and it because nothing will happen. See? Hit something else, nothing happens. You always got to hit the head part. It could be at any point in the body. He was defeated no problem. I've already had practice at this level you see before I played the demo. The game structure of Mega Man 11 is very similar to the older Mega Man games. The graphics are better. The levels are set up in similar ways, although they do come up with new and interesting little uh, gimmick ideas. You'll see them here and there. Mega Man games are great for that. They always do that. Gotta love them. One of my favorite things here to do on Earth while I'm here from the uh, Aku Aku Galaxy is just to have a fun playing video games. It's actually a very primitive form of entertainment compared to something that I'm used to, but it's actually a lot of fun. It has a lot of charm and you know what? It's all good. It's fun. It's a great little way to spend a vacation. Oh no! That sucked. Well, that's what happens when you die. You start at a checkpoint. That's right. There's a couple checkpoints in every level. You start at those check. You die. You start at those checkpoints. You don't want to die. Dying sucks because then, well, you died. Mega Man games, you will die. Most likely, anyway, unless you're like some Super Mega Man God. If so, I bow to you. King Kaboobler bows to the Super Mega Man gods out there. The ones that could speed run an entire game without getting hit. Oh, look at that. You can get crushed by the falling blocks. You gotta also avoid the blades. Dr. Wily, he sure does like his blades. See, notice how each blade runs at a different speed. Oh no, if you take too long, I guess a new puzzle block will fall in its place. And then... You get crushed. You don't want to get crushed. You got to move fast. These wheel guys are pretty cool. 
I'd like to have one of those little wheel things just going around the street in my little little wheel thing. Maybe go on the sidewalks or in parks. That's right, real exciting lake. I can even build little ramp courses for myself. That would be super sweet. Okay, back to the blades. Yeah, you gotta do that fast or a third one comes. That's okay though. I remember that guy being easier in the demo. This part is a lot of fun. Got to avoid the falling blocks. Slowing down time helps too, but let's try it without for a few minutes here. As you can see, our little buddy Shellhead is back. He's in all the Mega Man games. I'm gonna call him Frank. All the little Franks, they're all over the place. No, in fact, let's call him Mike. All the little Mikes all over the place. Ready just to shoot their little bullets at you. Now we're in kind of a, we moved away from the forested areas. And now we're in a whole new land. A land of robotic pyramids. Look at those beautiful pyramids against that awesome sunset. It's very tranquil against the attacking hordes of demonic robot foes. Well, okay, maybe they're not quite demonic, but they are robot foes. Another one of these owl totem pole things. And this time it's even harder because the... The ground is moving. The ground was not moving last time. I think I'm going to go there for a vacation next time. That seems really peaceful. Once Mega Man gets rid of all these robots, this should be a great place to go to. Gotta check where that is. I'm going to call my local travel agent. Ah, little oh, you bastard. You stole my one up. I needed that. Now I'm upset. You can see those little disruptions in the air. Yeah, they hide in the vortex of time and space. Well, not really. It's just a very, very cheap cloaking technology that Wiley developed late last year. It's pretty cool. It advanced things a few hundred years. Now we can cloak many things. One time I tried to cloak my chocolate bar. And I couldn't find it. That was sad. I found it two days later. Turned out that I cloaked it on the seat and I sat on it. Then it, then it was like chocolate all over my pants. But it was cloaked chocolate, and I couldn't see it. It was very strange. So now my pants are dirty. But I can't even tell. I did notice, though, that the water turned brown. Or black when I washed them. So once you wash the chocolate out in water, it does reappear. So that might be a design flaw in the cloaking technology itself. It's good to test these things out. Now here is a more advanced version of the falling block little area that we had last time. The blocks are falling at different rates and they're falling fast. And if you get hit right there, you will fall and die. But I got two more lives left. No problem. Block man is a thing of dead. 
we got to defeat him by jumping on blocks and slowing down time. Or not. I can do it without slowing down time. God damn it. No problem. I am the king, and I will make it to the top of this little area. After I die one more time. This time for sure. Or maybe not. Yeah, just got to jump on the different uh, blocks as they're falling here. Oh, god damn. Okay, back to the beginning. This part is getting rather frustrating. So, best just to beat it, get it done. There we go. Now we're inside the pyramids. Very, very cool. What wonders await us? Well, that answer is easy. Wily robots! It would be cool to have one of those things that the robots are riding around in. make even a theme park around that idea everybody just riding around everywhere little ramps and obstacles hmm sounds like fun all right now we're at block man in all his blocky glory Blockman has decided to take up arms against Mega Man and join Dr. Wily. Well, actually, they were all taken over by Dr. Wily. They were Dr. Light's robots, as was seen in the opening video. Oh, and you see Blockman transforms into a big big block man and now it's block man smash he's got a few different moves he smashes down you gotta hit his fiery core he smashes out and you gotta hit his fiery core and then he smashes down again and it's back to hitting his fiery core it's hard when he corners you you don't want him to corner you. All right, it's a close one, but Blockman is going down. Yeah, that's right. Now he's got more life than me again. He's got three different stages of his attacks. He's got the first one where he's just regular Blockman and running around and hitting you. Then he turns into big Blockman. And now he's regular Blockman again, and he's just doing the same, throwing the blocks all over the place in his desperate attempts to stay alive but it doesn't work of course because Mega Man has defeated Block Man as you would have expected and now I get a special power what will my special power be I bet it'll be block related hey that's a cool little interface the block dropper and I can try it I can drop blocks on enemies heads very cool I love how they integrated the tutorial system into the game after the levels like that just so you can check out the